we, meaning you and I, um, all of you guys out there, Mabuhay Squad, um, and myself, RJ brought this up. We have some unfinished business to take care of. Um, and I am so sorry that it's taken this long to address this, but promise we're addressing it now. Mabuhay Squad. The thing, the unfinished business that we need to tend to is this. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Whiteboard Wednesday. Guys, I apologize. We completely like abandoned this weekly ritual. For those of you who are new, this here is our official whiteboard and I decided to uh, add it to the vlogs where you guys tell me what to write here every week and we called it Whiteboard Wednesday. And since it's Wednesday, I thought, hey, this would be a great opportunity to bring this back. Um, and some of you guys have been leaving comments saying, hey, what happened to Whiteboard Wednesday and you're exactly right it's my fault this is like it was from like last year that's how long we haven't done whiteboard Wednesday so I will erase this now it doesn't have to be a positive affirmation but for some reason like 99.9 .9 of your suggestions are positive affirmations so um, that's okay so what happens is you guys suggest what we write on whiteboard Wednesday again it could be anything a positive affirmation it could be a birthday shout out it could be anything and then RJ and I choose one to write on our whiteboard every Wednesday all right and since it's a new whiteboard Wednesday and you guys haven't had a chance to suggest for this week have a happy face there you go guys be happy this week all right so also another thing too is sometimes RJ and I have problems finding <laughs> your whiteboard Wednesday comments, but I suggest that every Wednesday's vlog you leave a suggestion for whiteboard Wednesday for the next week So that we know which vlog to check the comments of you know what I mean? So in other words in today's vlog, please leave your suggestion for next week's whiteboard Wednesday uh, In the comments of this vlog. Thanks guys. By the way guys if you're new to the vlogs Welcome to the daily vlogs. My name is Mikey Bustos. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit Hit the subscribe button, come join the Mabuhay squad because we will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. Every single day guys, a new vlog. We're like this club online that just kind of like meets. Sometimes the vlogs don't even make sense, but if you guys need a pick her up or we will be here for you. Here are the kids, good morning guys. Yes, they are sleeping in the sunlight. It's kind of cloudy today, but some sun is coming through. Yes, good morning Sahara. Good morning Sice. Mm -hmm. Good boy, so sweet these dogs. Um, if you're new, these two are brother and sister, but they're not from the same litter. So Cypher here came to us during quarantine last year, and Sahara came to us this year or a couple months ago. Um, and they both share the same parents. So technically, they are biological brother and sister, but they are not litter mates. They're not twins. And as you can see, they're kissing each other now. Always kissing each other, always playing with each other. <laughs> What's Sarah doing? <laughs> so funny. And it's actually great. We um, adopted them. Basically, we know their parents. So their parents are owned by my cousin, Ed, Mark, and Nika, which is great because if ever we have a big reunion, it could be possible uh, for the dogs. I wonder if they would remember their parents. That is a question I'm very curious to know. Perhaps we can arrange for a big family reunion. Only thing is their parents currently are in Baguio, which is a five hour drive from the city, which we can't even get to due to lockdown here in the Philippines. So that's good. And then also the siblings of both Cypher and Sahara, we also know where they are. The brother of Cypher, Pepper, is with my other cousin, Raquel. And the twin sister of Sahara is with the parents still in Baguio. So again, the dogs can have like a big family reunion and I can't wait to see if there's like recognition there. My intuition is that indeed they will all recognize each other. Super cool. Um, and I can't wait to vlog that day. Mm, guys, yummy blue marlin with broccoli. Oh, ha, ha. love fish. Thanks, babe. Guys, this is RJ Garcia, in case you don't know him since he never appears in the vlogs. 
99% of the time he's like, don't film me. Because that was working. Yeah, because he's working. He has to be ready. He cooks delicious meals. Let's try, guys. Mmm. Oh my. Blue Marlin. Mmm. It tastes like tuna. Mmm. It's a little on the chewy side, though. Yeah. Mmm, but still good. It tastes like really tough, like beef. Steak. Mmm, it's like a steak, yeah. Do you guys like blue marlin? They're big fish, aren't they? Man, must be hard to reel one of these things in. Okay guys, time for a positive affirmation of the day for Wednesday, April the 21st. My life is in order. I love my daily routines, which exercise my body and train my mind. I give myself permission to feel wonderful. There you go guys, hope you enjoyed today's positive affirmation. And look at that cute doggy. <laughs> Dogs are playing again. <laughs> I love watching them play. <laughs> So obviously the trending news topic pretty much worldwide today is that the cop who killed George Floyd, remember which spurred this whole Black Lives Matter movement last year, um, turns out he was found guilty of murder. So he's going to jail. Um, so congratulations to all of you in the US for justice being served, but also for that very important step towards the decay of systemic racism, which doesn't only happen in um, the US, it happens in Canada as well. It happens in other countries, I'm sure. And believe it or not, um, systemic racism also happens slightly here in the Philippines. Um, so yeah, so this is good news. And I hope all the crooked cops out there take a note from this and, um, you know, just, Taking your knee and sticking it into the neck of someone is probably not the best way to go. Now, this isn't like a spiteful message to all cops because there are lots of really good, good cops. Some of them are my friends in Canada um, that would never do this. You know, I just don't think they're capable of doing what this cop was capable of doing. And to be honest, the police have helped me and my family growing up. So I'm not anti-police. Um, I'm just anti-racism and anti like police corruption. You know what I mean? Um, but anyways, yeah, so that's the trending topic uh, today. What do you guys think about all of this? So in other news, um, just this morning and over the past few days, this past week, um, RJ and I have been having a few meetings with a few people working on certain projects that we can't really talk about now. Um, but I would like to ask all of you guys to please pray for these projects. I hope they um, follow through and I thank you guys guys might be surprised but I'm really excited for what's up ahead and these are surprises that will be without revealing too too much will be uh, able to be enjoyed by you guys no matter where you are anyways how about you guys how are you all doing through this is your country currently under lockdown how's work for you guys are you guys um okay for employment for those of you paying rent have has your landlord reduced rent i'm just curious like what life is like now after over a year of this pandemic for you guys in your place in the world let me know in the comments i am sometimes shocked at the photos of my friends in like certain countries where there kind of is no lockdown <laughs> like i have friends in australia who like posted this like outdoor park where there's like tons of people nobody wearing masks and i'm like oh mg what and even like there are some photos in like China where it, life is like back to normal. And I'm like, gosh, like there are some places in Dubai, you know what I mean? Where like, it does seem like life is sort of like normal there. What's it like in your country? And have any of you guys been vaccinated? I know the vaccines are starting to roll out now. I actually have a few friends who've had vaccines, uh, vaccinations already here in the Philippines. Um, of course, thank goodness, my parents are vaccinated, my aunts and uncles in Canada. But yeah, it's like, it's so strange. 
to see how different countries in the world are dealing with it and have dealt with it and what the varying circumstances are in light of this pandemic in different countries. It's just really mind-blowing. Like, I'm looking at some of these photos in countries where like the pandemic isn't really a problem anymore and I'm thinking, man, they are so lucky. <laughs> Guys, I need a picker-upper. I'm gonna need some chocolate kisses. <laughs> good old chocolate to make you feel better, right guys? I love chocolate. Seriously, so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Love chocolate kisses. Mmm, 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 mmm. Milk chocolate is just, mmm. One of man's greatest inventions, seriously. Okay, so if there was like an alien race of intelligent life, that visited earth and we had to offer them like food like a, a product that you know mankind has invented that they could eat and taste one of the things definitely needs to be chocolate don't you think that would be a great representation for our human species we'd be like dear extraterrestrial we offer you this wonderful gift it's a piece of food that is manufactured using you know ground up fermented cacao seeds which come from a plant that grows here on earth mixed with a white substance that nourishes the young of like a cow another species here on earth and we mix it in and we have this fine fine chocolate take this as our gift alien don't you agree it should be like that mm. Mm. guys one day Mabuhai Squad, we are gonna be involved in the chocolate business. Mark my words. Cacao actually grows naturally here in the Philippines. It's an interesting tree. It literally, the cacao pod looks like a huge, fat, wrinkly bean pod that turns red, a beautiful red. It literally grows out of the bark of the tree on this little tiny stem. And when you open it, the inside is like this beautiful red. And when you eat it, it tastes so good. The fruit itself. And then the seeds, well, that's what's used to make chocolate. Isn't that amazing? Honestly, humans have found like some amazing things to create from agricultural products. Chocolate being one of them. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, guys. So, I've got some really cool news. And um, I really... Would appreciate if you guys could possibly give us your opinions or advice um i just heard about this like yesterday um and i figured should i tell my buhai squad um and then i thought about it today and i'm like yeah okay i'm gonna tell them so my buhai squad the thing i want to ask you guys is this <laughs> 